Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Limbus Company. We're back. And you know what? We're finishing this dungeon today. Because that is what I want to do. I think that, uh... Another thing that I want to do, speaking of things I want to do, is try and get some of the missions for the battle pass done, the season pass, because I want to start leveling that up, because I want to make sure I unlock everything for it. Um, so after we do this, maybe we'll do a couple of, maybe, maybe we'll knock a couple of those out. All right. In the dusky corridor, a shadow appears and watches us carefully approach. It was clear that we were not going to be a welcome presence to each other. Okay. I'm ready. We're always ready. It's muscle memory now. I did it so many times and messed it up so many times yesterday, I know immediately where to click. Okay. Another veteran appeared in the dark, carrying a depressed aura. His sparkling old badge seemed to signify a high rank once held. Manager Gregor? I think I remember that face of yours. But why? I was the head manager of your team. Decrepit G Corp head manager. Sure Not only did you desert us, you now have the audacity to take the lives of your old comrades, my subordinates. Look, the war ended a decade ago. I guess some folks still having let go of their old, uh, obsolete ranks, huh? Ended. Nothing is ended. Nothing has ended. Damn it! <laughs> the war may have been over for you when you deserted G Corp. We're fighting for our lives on the battlefield to this day. Uh, as much as I didn't want to relate to you this way, I'm not really that different here. You ought to understand, Gregor. There is only one verdict that awaits deserters. You say that like it means something. But it's against company policy to carry out summary execution for personal revenge, my ad manager. Alright, we're gonna kick some ass and then move on. If it loads. Okay, there we go. Got worried there for a second. Oh yeah, and everything gets bind now that we've kicked a little bit of ass. Ah, oh yes, we have to go back to the old-fashioned way that sucks. Oh well. People are getting the shit kicked out of them up there. I just, just happen to glance out of the corner of my eye and see a lot of damage being dealt. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, we got a kill. Oh, we got two kills. Okay, big hits. Good, good. Gregor doing doing good work. Okay, that guy's gonna die. Yeah, go. Okay, they should all be they should all die this scene. That guy's dead. Okay, that was a joke. They are not all dead. In fact, they are quite far from it. We should be able to kill him now, though. Oh, okay, there goes one of them. We only have one left. Oh. Right, nice work. Did dig a little bit more damage there than I would have liked to have, but that's okay. Perhaps this, uh, the time this ex-soldier spent off the battlefield was long enough to rest his prowess. The head manager who must have defeated countless enemies in his glory days was now nearing his own end. 
널 존경하는 자들도 있었지. 그레고르. You were once well respected, Gregor. 존경해달라고 부탁한 적은 없었어. Never really asked for respect. 더 이상은 전진하지 마라. 그곳은 지옥이야. Don't proceed any further. Only hell awaits you. 미안하지만 그러기는 힘들 것 같아. 성실하게 일하지 않으면 잘리거든. Sorry, but I don't think I can follow your advice. I ought to be a go-getter if I don't want to be fired. Have you abandoned your honor for some pittance? I sold that away long ago, my friend. That's not at all what he said. I just made that up. Ha! Fuck it. A bitter smile appeared on the head manager's face. Uh, hey, at least he liked it. They are buddies. You're no different from us. In the end, we're... Nothing but disgusting pests. He took a few more shallow breaths than ceased to move. Hey. Okay, I knew that there was more. I knew he only said hey. Hey, mind if I borrow a cig? Just this once. Gregor put the borrowed cigarette next to the one he already held in his mouth, then lit it and tossed it off the chip. Tossed it on the chest of his deceased camp. Okay, fuck it. Sorry, didn't want to share mine with that thing. <laughs> Ryushu gave a snort. The smoke from Gregor's cigarette lingered with a prevailing silence in the air for a short while. Okay. Another reading is over, and I can relax now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's next? Uh, right or left? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, actually, it does. Oh, hold on. Okay, so these two are actually different. But the other ones weren't. These are definitely different, though. Option A. In the dusky corridor, a shadow appears. It watches us carefully approach. It was clear that we were not going to be a welcome presence to each other. Okay. Or... Leaving aside the warning Gregor's old boss gave, we moved on. An acrid smell began to fill the air as if to punish our foolishness. But we always go left. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, look, muscle memory. I second guess myself. I don't know why. I had it right. Okay. There appear to be no more signs of the ex-soldiers from this point onward. But the commander did warn us not to go further. As we proceeded, we discovered bodies that seemed to have been there for quite some time. These are... no... L-Corp's employees. I see traces of blunt instruments. All the bodies share them, in fact. A management report. This document contains instructions for keeping abnormalities in check. Normally, employees tasked with catering to abnormalities memorize these instructions to the point of reciting them flawlessly. They don't usually carry notes like these. I dare suspect that no remaining employees had the necessary information when an abnormality breached. Hmm. If the eggs weren't moved into containment yet, that could be the case. There are way too many corpses here. <laughs> what kind of abnormality could have massacred all these employees? Wait. What's the smell? Here you see, our office purchased an expensive device the other day. What are you on about? Sources suggested that toxin levels started to rise after a certain floor. Ugh, I've been bleeding from my ears a bit. Is this okay? Oh, 
No battle was without. Oh fuck! No battle is without adverse. Okay. I was told that a continued exposure to it may cause bleeding, like that. Uh, how are you so fine, though? This is... It's the anti-abnormality gas grenades applied to the employees. One must have gone off somewhere between the bodies here. True. The toxicity levels do appear to be intense around this area. Hopkins had put on a gas mask before we noticed. Hey now, what about us? We weren't granted any additional supplies. You slippery rat. You knew all this time. You're not getting away with... <laughs> Heathcliff is not mid-sentence fell to one knee. Your blood flow will quicken if you're agitated. In other words, your toxin will spread faster. Her voice is slowly just becoming Angela. I don't know if anybody else has picked up on that. I'm trying so hard not to just do Angela's voice again, but... Uh, I don't know, it's just they're very... I'm They're vibing similarly to me. Try to remain calm, minimize movement, and breathe at regular intervals. <laughs> Hopkins, why... <laughs> why didn't you tell me about this? Oh, I've got a question for you too, Yuri. Why would I make our office waste our precious funds on expensive gadgets for deadweight like you to use? At what point don't we just, like, kick this guy to the, to the abnormalities? Uh, is he really doing anything? I haven't seen him in any of the fights. If we're being real, it's a miracle that you managed to join us in the first place. Maybe Aya took pity and gave you special treatment. She's gone now, so who cares? Sneaky blighter, is that how you want to live? Don't be silly. Everything's fair game for a fixer. Hearing that the Red Gaze had company tickled my curiosity. But as it turns out... You were just a bunch of ragtag lunatics who thought it'd be a good idea to walk straight into these facilities without zero prep. What a sick joke. Can't do anything but watch. Feeling the ire towards him, Hopkins backed away and scurried to the exit. Well, at least I managed to grab an armful of encephalon thanks to you. I'll write in my report that you all went missing, because suffocated to death is just too embarrassing. Ta-ta! Yuri slumped to the floor, watching blood pour from her nose to her hands. And she's not the only one. Rodia, Heathcliff, and the other sinners are suffering from blood loss, too. Gregor? <laughs> Ugh, I took this with me so you could have something to remember her by. He was holding the same type of gas mask as the ones Hopkins wore. But why? Third Aya <coughs> gave you special treatment, didn't she? This is as good as yours, then. <coughs> As for our unprepared band of lunatics, we do have a way out. Don't worry about us. Coughing up blood, Yuri put on the mask. I know he's right. Oh, 
I know earning a recognition from an office of strangers is a hard thing to do, even if I take on all kinds of errands day and night. There were only three minutes left until the branch was locked down. Initiating site burial. The doors were the doors were about to close on me. Energy transfer is 85% complete. Yuri, Yuri, don't leave me behind, Yuri. So what else am I supposed to do? Is it so wrong that I survived? Should I have been buried alive alongside my co-workers? When the whole building was going under, also the abnormalities wouldn't escape. Uh, it is a sin, at least down here. That stings a little. Fuck you. I'm not listening to the rest of that. I was finishing my line. Standing is sounded. I snapped back. Snapped back to real. <laughs> Checked on this. Sim. Oh man. All right. Half of them had already passed away on the floor, and Ishmael had uh, drooped just after she said her last words. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. A sin. But, uh, so what, buddy? <laughs> Gotta live on like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Laying guilt on yourself over spilt milk will wear your heart out. With Gregor drawing his last breath, Yuri and I became the only surviving members standing in the area. Uh, don't worry too much about us. I can take him back there and revive him. I knew mechanical ticking was all Yuri could hear, but I did my best to communicate my message to her nonetheless. Uh -huh. I know. Yuri ended the conversation with not a word after. After a long period of awkward gloom, the toxic gas finally dispersed. Well, it looks like it's okay now. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll give you a hand. Let's go bring your people back to life. Saying that, Yuri took the gas mask off and calmly carried the cinders on her shoulders one by one. Unsure uh, what to say to her, I remained quiet. Okay, fair enough. Well, that... Uh, okay, I guess we're fighting things. Don't know where they came from, but okay. Doomsday Clock Doll. Okay, then. Yeah, I literally don't know where this fight started from. I hope it explains it in a second, because I'm very confused as to why we're doing it. <laughs> okay, who are you fighting right now? Kind of hard to trace these. Okay, we'll... Eep. Okay, let's do that one. Alright, let's do that one. Do that one. And I guess we'll do that one. Sure. Alright, alright, good. Well done. Good hit. Good hit. Great hit. That guy's gonna die. Zero damage. I'd love to see it. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. I didn't actually realize we were still taking hits. I swear to God, everyone was clashing with somebody. I swear. And you're even staggered. That's fucked. At least no one's attacking you, though. Okay, hit that one. Who's hitting this one? Okay. Nah, that's fine. You get you get stronger anyways. 
No, fuck off. This and then this. There we go. See? This is the play. This is the play. Okay, good hit. Okay. Good hit. Good hit. Great job. Okay, she's back in action. Good. I don't know why it does that. I get it. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. I trust the computer. Okay, great. Glad I trusted you. Big hit. Oh. Amazing. Easy. Easy. Okay, you can tell me where they came from. No. It's all right. All right, we face the abnormality that looks likely caused many disasters in the facility. According to Yuri, these abnormalities used to be kept under strict uh, uh, supervision, kept in check by detailed managerial fuck, procedures. Uh, I didn't want to imagine what happened since the facility faced closure. Okay, cool. I want to go back to that one, though. Because we only saw one side, and now I want to see the other one. Very well may be the exact same thing, but I don't know. I want to see. Okay. So there's only one clash in this. So I don't know why you would do that. Let's have you do that one. You do that one. Who are you attacking? No, let's do the other one so you can gain some charge. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else, I don't care who you hit. No. Okay. Good. Good. Great hit. Oh my god. That sucks. That's alright though. Oh my god. Krieger is a killing machine. I mean, yeah. Spend three charge, but how much charge do you have? I guess you don't have any right now. How do I get off this screen? Okay. Sure. Who? Why can't I do this? Oh, because you're not doing anything. Lota. All right, they're probably going to die before I get to use the ego, but I'm going to try anyways. All right, it was worth a shot. Boom. Next time for sure. Well done, team. Okay. We can gain anything from that. That's all right, though. I didn't even read that. Or did I read that? I can't remember. Were those abnormalities res Oh, I think we did read that, actually. Were those abnormalities responsible for killing all the employees? I doubt that. If my guess is right... Keep your eyes ahead, manager. There's another one of them. A humanoid being wearing the head of a statue was sitting against the wall. Hi, are you here to draw your lot? Oh, 
Gather all your IDs and give them to me. Then we'll find the winner. Its hand was barely grasping onto the straw of an employee ID card. Alex was the name written on it. Alex? Gone nuts, has she? Uh, yeah, close enough. And what's that babble about winners? So sorry about that. I got a phone call. Okay. Uh, some some heaven rallies demanded regular offerings as part of the managerial guidelines. You shouldn't go that way. They will find you. And the offering happened, didn't it? It's your turn to draw. Offering? What happens if no human sacrifice is made? We never found out. We followed every procedure without fail. I guess it escaped and started killing people left and right. <laughs> huh. okay. Ah, that abnormality must have been... He just turned Scottish for a second. That abnormality must have been one spineless bugger. Does it thwack victims in the back of the head? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening anymore. What do you mean? Did you all get stabbed in the eyes or what? Those wounds were clearly left by humans. You can tell they were beating the shite out of each other. Those thickos killed each other in a fight. But, but for what reason? It's clear as day. Probably figured they could survive a while even after the branch was buried. Keep offering folks from time to time and the rest might get rescued one day. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with this voice anymore. It's much easier to talk like this though. Guess they kept the guess they kept the lots going for a few months. It was the safest way they had to keep the thing in check. Problem though. You think the one picked as the fall guy would gladly accept his fate. If I was them, I'd rather strangle the bloke next to me. Better them than me, ain't that right? And the rest is history, I bet. And the last survivor put on the stone mask belonging to the statue heads. Believing that it'll save her from being sacrificed. That can't be. Alex wouldn't kill others just so she could live. How do you know that? You can't even be sure that's actually Alex or not. Let me give you a tip. You'll be much better off going on your own foot. Before they come take you. Let us be on our way. This person will perish before long. While everyone else moved along, Yuri remained in place and continued to stare down the statue clad individual. It wasn't your fault. You know it's not, right? Leave me behind, Yuri. Please leave me. <laughs> time to go. <laughs> All right. All right. Time to probably for another fight. Oh. 
They're rummaging through corpses looking for something. Relentless demands for an offering ring in the ears. They look like they might jump at us at any second. You see a dying person nearby, gasp for air. Should you offer this person up or... <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh god, okay. We can offer the person, we gain a gift. We can beat the encounter and gain a stronger gift. No, we're not offering the person. You know why? Because we're in it for the loot, motherfucker. Angered by your inaction, the clay dolls attacked you. Combat, win the next battle to earn the Nico gift bloodied mask of a devotee. Yeah, fuck yeah, we're gonna win. I'm not afraid of these bitches. I'm not afraid of any of these bitches. We're gonna, we're gonna beat all of them. Human sacrifice is allowed, but it didn't give us the better of the options. So, unfortunately, you know, what can I say? It's just, ah, that's, we'll, we will win. I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Lucha. All right, team, pick some ass for me. Make me feel better about not sacrificing you to the demons. Oh my god. Okay, we got one of them. Nice work. Yep. 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 Okay. Oh my god. How did that even happen? I had everyone clashing. How it ha literally how did that even happen? I have no idea. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. I should just do this. I was gonna say you're probably gonna die in the first round, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Nicely done, team. Nicely done. All allies gain five offense level and five defense. Pretty sick. If it was the abnormality, this most likely caused many disasters in the facility. According to Yuri, these abnormalities used to be under strict supervision, kept in check by detailed managerial procedures. I didn't want to imagine what happens if the facility faced closure. All right. Let's take a rest break. Take a bathroom break. Yeep. All right. I think it's time for the fight, maybe. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, just kidding. I don't know why it was flashing like that then. Whatever. Okay. Team. Get ready. It's your time. Your time to shine. Proleum Fatal. Okay. Doomsday Calendar. Okay. So we can't actually attack this guy. So I guess we'll kick the shit out of these little peons first. Okay. Big hit. Big hit. Holy shit. Okay, good. Great job. Okay, great. That sucks. Okay, you felt nothing. You felt nothing, you're okay. Okay, good kill. Now Nelly looks upset, it seems to want something, but what should we give? Well, clearly you're not gonna give anything because I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> uh, I don't know, what are we gonna do? We need to make sure that all of these are clashed with. So let's start there. Alright, that's tough. We're gonna take one, but can't do much about that. Huge hit. That was amazing. Oh my god, Gregor is a killing machine. I've said it already, but it's it continues to be true. Big hit.
Big hit. Close to being staggered. All right, that was nothing. Oh, God. There are many ways to calm one down. This abnormality seems to like gifts the most. A fresh batch of blood might be able to appease it. Offer a clay doll or a sinner. Well, let's put clay doll over there. We get a living clay doll as a tribute. Satisfied, uh, satiated, the abnormality calmed down for a moment. All parts of Doomsday Calendar gain three attack power down. Okay. Now, I'm not giving up my sinners. Hate to break it to you, but... My sinners are more precious because I can do things with them. They they can deal damage. Don't know if you knew that or not, game, but it's gonna be pretty hard pressed to sacrifice one of these guys. Also, also, I happen to like some of them. All right, that, but more so about the damage. Uh, yeah, I mean that's fine. I'll take a hit, but you can you'll you'll stuff it out. That right, sucks a lot, actually. Gregor Killing Machine over here. Thought you were supposed to be doing better than that. Hey. Good hit. Great. Great. Huge, huge, huge damage. Nothing. Barely even noticed. Okay. It's staggered right now. Damage. Damage, damage. Uh, you said stagger, my friend. Somehow I don't believe it. Because you are still attacking me. Odd. Odd how that happens sometimes. Actually, have you do that instead. And have you attack up here. Okay, break. Big damage, big damage. Okay, great. We got one of the parts to so deal with the rest like this. Nice. Big hit. Big hit. Okay. It's getting a little scary. Enemy is staggered. Safe to attack. Uh, I trust you, game. I trust you. Oh, I still trust you. Oh god, you're gonna die. Maybe. Oof, hurt. Okay, good damage. Is that what, two staggers? Aye, yikes. He that mail is wearing everyone down. We'll have to make an offering to calm this wrath. Eat. Okay, take care of the guys who are attacking our guys that are staggered and can't defend themselves. Who's the other ones getting attacked? Okay. Uh, yeah, go do some damage. Okay, that sucked. Good, good recovery though. Big hit. Good, good. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Barely even noticed. If we get the flame, you'll need cool water. Since we aren't carrying any buckets of water, we should offer up someone cool instead. I don't have to. I mean, I don't, I don't think I should have to. Why do I have to offer a sinner? Looks like one of the sinners will have to do the clay job stall. Ugh, fuck. Ugh, why do I have to do this, though? I don't want to get rid of one of my bros. All right, I'm sorry, Ryoshi, but it's gonna be you. All right, just barely, but we're fine. Loses 30 HP, oh my god, that's... Oh, okay. Sent a dangerous glow, it's almost dead. Team. I don't think I've seen yours yet. Let's see what you do. Let's finish the job real quick. Oh no. Don't tell me it crashed. Okay. Ooh. 
We're fine. Alright, that was pretty sick. Ah, oh, Gregor, my man. Nice. Nicely done. This floor is crawling with maggots. These bugs aren't even uh, aren't so bad after the last floor's abnormality. I don't want anything like that ever again. <laughs> sure, Greg would be glad to hear that. Aren't you, buggy buddy? But Gregor wasn't paying attention to Rudy. Don't you all hear something? You've been hearing a constant growl. Brody, are you really that hungry at a time like this? Hey, you're supposed to let that kind of stuff slide. Please, girl. No, not that. It's like... For the first time on the expedition, Gregor walked ahead of the group and opened the door next to him as if by some compulsion. Oh god. Oh wait, that's a containment unit! God damn. Oh, you fool. It's like that time. No, the door is already open. Gregor gazed in the shower, golden light pouring from the room. Gregor! Did we travel back in time? I see an overcast sky. Cries and screams twist and ring out at a distance. And in that sky, gunfire and artillery create a cacophony. Isn't it clear enough? This is... A battlefield. The heart of it. Am I dreaming? Or a nightmare? Why? Why here again? So why the hell are we in a bloody battlefield? Is this a trap or something? No, we're on the right track. The essence of the technology we're looking for is not far from here. You mean the golden bow? Correct. Do you recognize when this was? Anyone with functioning eyes should know at a glance. Actually, I don't. I confessed. <laughs> it's obvious that you wouldn't recognize this. Fuck, that you wouldn't recognize this manager. You don't have eyes that fit conventional definitions. Was that the best excuse you have? Otis cleared her throat as, it make, as if to mask her embarrassment, then turned her narrow gaze to the battlefield. Judging from the colorful wave of garish flags showing off the factions in play, this is at least 70 days into the smoke war. This concludes briefing, manager. Suddenly, there was a strong tug at Heathcliff's coat from behind. Are you out of your minds? You need shelter now. You'll age rapidly if exposed to that bomb's blast. Oh my god, excuse me, I just sneezed. <laughs> now post next to ours turned into a nursing home. They can't even walk without sticks. Who the hell are you and why do you... Oh, this is Heathcliff. Who the hell are you and why do you act like you know us? Oh, Manager Gregor, my respect, sir. The bandaged man snapped to attention and saluted Gregor as soon as he saw him. <laughs> you. You wouldn't recognize me, sir. I'm Toma from Biometrics Maintenance. I thought you were part of the front unit. I didn't expect you to find. I didn't expect to find you here at the back. Are you on your way to the front? I could help you get there since the augmentation on my legs allows me to jump. 
Oh, that sounds gross. That's so funny, by the way. I just now noticed <laughs> the expression. <laughs> Don't look at rodeo. It's suspicious. Hey, you. What did you just? Hey, Toma. So, uh, uh, you're an assistant manager or a regular staff? Sir, yes, sir. I'm an assistant private, sir. Uh, you see, uh, she's a new hire who uh, had her procedure not too long ago, so still getting over the confusion, you know. I'll give her a good talking to. Uh, I get it. Our corporation must be getting desperate sending unprepared employees to battle. Uh, yeah, we're sorry for the trouble. I've got to take her somewhere real quick. Gregor practically yanked himself out of the conversation and hurriedly walked to Faust. Just what's going on, Faust? These are my memories. We're in the fathoms of your ego, to be precise. An open path in your psyche, in other words. We've entered your heart and mind, Gregor. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> uh, Alright. On the first turn of battle... In On the first turn of battle, inflict one burden on, on all enemies five times. All right, very sick, very cool. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to save this part for the next episode. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. As always, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody.